On the outside, they look every bit of man. But believe it or not, the people you're meeting today were once women. This is Kimry. This is Lando. This is Don. This is Matt. This is Kit. All five of these men have one thing in common. They were all born women. And I remember specifically, I was looking at my husband-to-be, thinking that should be me. You have a girlfriend? Yes, I do. I started hormones at age 18, but at 19, I wouldn't had, went ahead and had uh, my breasts removed. I'm looking at your face. There is not a hint of female there. You have a girlfriend. I sure do. What's going on? Just because that's not there, I don't feel like that makes me a man. I was born biologically a female. That's my dead twin sister. Today, Don confronts his father for the first time. Everyone take a look at this picture. Now, this is Beth as a little girl. A little girl who eventually grew up to be a very pretty young woman on the outside. But on the inside, Beth felt that she should have been born a boy. Now, guess what? Here is Beth's sister, Jill, who knows that girl. Look at the two of them. You can see pictures of them together. Now, today, Jill's sister, Beth, is a man. Now, we're not talking about someone who dresses, you know, you know, men who dresses women, women dresses men. No. This man is named Lando. And before the show, Jill told us what it was like to have her sister turn into her brother. My little sister Beth was the cutest baby. She had blonde hair, she was spunky, and you just wanted to wrap your arms around her. Beth and I were close, and we spent a lot of time together, but something started to change, and I noticed that she was becoming a tomboy. She wanted her hair cut short, she wanted to wear boy clothes. As Beth got older, I could see her becoming more uncomfortable in girls' clothes like dresses. She just looked awkward. When my sister Beth was 17, she became really depressed. She finally told us what was wrong, that she wanted a sex change and she wanted to become a man. She started taking male hormones and at that point, Beth changed her name to Lando. She had her breasts removed and a few years later, she had a hysterectomy. My brother Lando lives his life fully as a man. He works out, has muscles, he's got a lot of body hair, he's a very manly man. Lando is, has been the best brother, and he's been the best uncle, and he's been such a part of our lives. You seem to get very emotional about that. Yes, yes. And if, if truth be known, in the beginning, it was very difficult for you to accept. Yes, yes it was. Um, growing up, you know, my sister was a tomboy, but... Um, well, there are a lot of tomboys, know, who right, were, you know, right, sisters who were tomboys. Right, um, but I never would have guessed what was going on on the inside, that she wanted to become a man. How long has it taken you to accept it in the way that is comfortable for you? I would, just a. A short amount of time, really, because I knew that my sister Beth was so unhappy and uncomfortable with herself, and when she made the announcement, it made it make sense. Do you think of, of Lando as your sister? Never, no, I don't. I mean, I just saw a picture of him. Right. I mean, no one in this world would look at this person and mm. think of a girl. Right. Well, you'll find out Beth's doing great as Lando. Please welcome Lando to the show. Sit right here. I mean, this is remarkable. Now, let's talk about let's talk about what everybody what's on everybody's mind right this second, Lando. Because they're gonna say, what's going on here? And what's going on? So, what's happened here? Um I started hormones at age 18, but at 19, I wouldn't had, went ahead and had uh, my breast removed. And, a mastectomy. Uh, mastectomy, <clears throat> exactly. I got a loan for it. It was something I had to do. And uh, my journey to becoming a man, that was the first step for me as far as the major surgery and so forth. So that was done a, a while ago. And as I understand it, and we should know this 
down below, there is real no successful surgery that will give somebody who wants to be a man who wasn't born that way a particular private part that is going to act like we all know they act. Right, the options, uh, I'm not satisfied with the options that are available now, so I'm, that's not complete down there. Now, because of that, is there part of you that you feel like a woman or not? You would think so, but not at all, because I, I feel completely as a man, so just because that's not there, I don't feel like that makes me a man. Right. Even though a lot of people would consider that, I don't think that at all. Who's that person there? Someone uh, from about 19 years ago that I, that's a life I don't want to think about a lot. Is it because you, the life was so painful for you? Yeah, in certain time periods it was very painful. Now, excuse me, but I'm telling you, I'm looking at your face. I see facial hair. I see creases, you know, good looking. There's no woman there. I mean, there is not a hint of female there. You can think is the that hormones. Hor for is that. that hormones? Hormones, yeah, basically. Hormones here? Well, hormones for this? I started hormones, hormones for this? Everything. I started hormones at age 18, and I basically went through, think about it as a, a late puberty for guys. I grew into a man just like a young boy with facial hair, muscles. My voice changed in one month. I, my voice started cracking. About because three of the weeks. hormones. The hormones. It began right. to drop. Uh, right, so I basically I, I look at myself as going through a late puberty. Look at this. Ladies and gentlemen, look at that. Wow. It was a quick transformation. I mean, it, it really wasn't a long, drawn-out thing. It happened quickly, which I think made it less um, awkward for right. family and friends. Right. You went into the bathroom one time right. to see your sister in the bathroom right. and what was happening. And she was sitting on the toilet backwards, kind of trying to be like facing the toilet how a man <laughs> would when he goes into the bathroom. It made it seem a little bit more than maybe just being a tomboy, but when you grow up with that, you know, you grow up with your sibling and that's all you know. Is there any part of you uh, think about you know, having a child? Maury, there is not one ounce in me that would ever want to think about giving birth to a child. I love children, I love to be a father, but but the whole giving birth part, not on my list of things I'd ever want to do. <laughs> Your brother is uh, very Sorry. grateful of the way you've mm. accepted Thank him. You. And he Thank uh, you. Well. he wanted to give you a message, all right? And this, and this is the message. Mm -hmm. Watch this. Jill, I'd like to thank you for being there for me through everything, not just the difficulties in growing up with someone that uh, wasn't exactly what you probably imagined for a little sister, and then the transition be from becoming that sister to a brother. Um, I can only imagine what you've been through. Um, I'm very thankful that you stood by my side. So again, I want to thank you for everything you've done for me, and I love you. Just because, I mean, you know, guys like girls, usually, right? Right. Most this times. Guy does. You have a girlfriend. I sure do. She's here, yes. right? Where's Martha? She's right there. Have you seen those pictures before? Yes, I have. From the day I've met him, I, I knew going into this relationship who he was. And so seeing these pictures really, I think, was more like, a tremendous bonder between the two of us. And everybody in our family just adores Martha and they're, we're thrilled that Lando has found a person to share his life with. Are there people out there now who are, you know, recognize Beth or don't know, if, you know, know who you are but haven't seen you? I mean, are there people learning about this for the first time? I do have a lot of friends that don't know about me or workmates. People like and, now, I mean, right. your workmates, I mean, who would know at work what you are? You know, yeah. you're a guy. Yeah, and that very well could be, but it doesn't take away from the fact of who I am genuinely. And you don't mind? My name is Lando. You don't mind, I mean, mind? You don't mind this? No, it's... Because they're going to know now. Right, but I wish there was someone like me up on stage, you know, 20 years ago w that I knew something like oh, this. Oh, you wish be. you would have been exposed to this. That's why I thank you for putting a show on like this, because right. you couldn't imagine the, the change. Thank you. Well, thank you so much. Thanks, thank Jill. You. Thanks, Lando. Good to see you both. Appreciate it. Thanks so much for coming. We'll be back right after this. Your dad has no idea.